We've seen housing prices go down pretty significantly in Austin from the peak. Now I think to start off, the easiest thing to do is to find what the peak is. I would call the peak spring 2022 and more specifically, probably May, the mid to late May 2022. Why that is the peak? It's when we started seeing prices uh, stagnate or even go down after that. But that's also when we started to see interest rates go up. Now I think that's the primary driver of why we've seen prices go down in Austin. You could also say, hey, there's much, been a bunch of tech layoffs. I know a lot of people in the tech industry <clears throat> who've had multiple layoffs even. So that, that could be a big driver of home pricing going down in Austin. But just because we still have a more demand than supply, I'm going to put more emphasis on interest rate increases. And that started around May 2022. Now we saw prices decrease for about you know, 18 months or so. And we've, we've kind of seen it level off here recently. In my personal experience, I've seen it level off here recently. And now, recently we've started to see rates go down the other way. So rates peaked at about 8%. Um, as soon as the Fed signaled that they weren't going to raise rates this last time, we saw rates drop off quite a bit. So again, I'm filming this in December of 2023. We've seen them gradually go down from May 2022 until, you know, about a month ago or, or maybe around now. We're seeing it be very, very slow here in December. It's always slow in December, but again, rates were very high just until a few weeks ago, very high, slowed down a lot of buyers. We're seeing buyers get very interested again as rates have gone down, as they're just, they're tired of waiting. And what does that mean? What does that mean? Are prices gonna keep going down? Are they gonna go up rapidly? You know, what's gonna happen in the Austin housing market? I have no idea. I think if anybody tells you they know, they're just guessing or they're predicting, which is just, maybe sort of an educated guess. What we do know is from May 2022 until now they've gone down. Now, we saw inventory continue to rise until the last few months where inventory has actually slightly decreased over the last few months. Um, what we're hearing a lot of is when interest rates get down in the sixes, it will unlock a lot of buyers. There's a lot of pent up buyer demand from people who wanted to buy a home, we were getting ready to buy a home and make that next life move. And they just didn't because rates went up so much. There's a lot of people that won't sell their home because they've got a 3% or 3.5% rate. Maybe they want a new home, but they say, hey, I can't stomach an 8% rate. Maybe they haven't even looked at what that would cost them, but they just don't want to go double their interest rate to get a new, a new more expensive, maybe bigger home. But again, We've seen about 18 months of price decreases. I'm not seeing that anymore. I have no idea if that will continue. Maybe we just hit a low, but everything I'm seeing, interest rates coming down, buyers getting more interested, and all this information about pent up buyer demand tells me we're not gonna see things continue to decline. Personally, I think they'll stay stable and slightly increased, but none of this craziness we went over the last couple of years I think it's gonna be a really great housing market here in 2024. Again, 2022, 2023 weren't great from the perspective that things were going up. They were typically going down through 2023 and 2022. But I think that's over and I think we're ready to turn over a new leaf and move forward here.